Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another step by step. We're doing baby group today. I'm going to take you through the full process. As you can see, we've got the projector set up. So I'm going to move over with the camera and show you that bit in a minute. But we'll take a look at the products we're going to use, i.e. paint, brush, the paper that we're using in today's video. Right guys, so they're the products we're using in today's video. We're using FW inks. I'm going to use the Evolution 2024 on 8045. And we're projecting the image up. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit small. So I've basically mirrored my tablet and then I can pinch and pull and like move, move him about. So just sort of size him up to the paper because we're going to do a drop shadow on Groot as well. So we'll go for around there, like that. So once I've got him sized, I'll then just dial in the projector, just sharpen him up, just move him again. like that and then we're good to go and what you'll do is you'll grab a pencil got one here grab a pencil make sure it's nice and sharp and what I tend to do is just then once it's sharpened just Soften the tip up. Take that real sharp point off it. And then you'll sort of work in the shadow, whether you, you're left or right handed. Because I'm left handed, I will sit like that and just work around the image like this. Like that. Pencil all the details in, all the key points. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get another piece of thick paper drop that over the top, pin that in place, and then go round him again. I'm gonna go round the eyes, go round the whole body, move that away, and then we can cut that out. Right guys, we're ready to, ready to make a start. Now, this is what I mean by I've cut it out. So I've cut Groot out, so that piece would go on there, like that, and you could if you had a magnetic board, like if this board behind was metal, you could get your magnets, which is a really good idea, and put your magnets over the outer like that. And that's when you could do your background. Just pin that in place. You could spray your background on now. You could do like space scene, do a sort of rock type floor, whatever you wanted. That's how you could do your background. I'm just gonna do a drop shadow on this at the end. But that's how you do your background. But what we're going to do is we're going to mount the other one like that, drop that one on to keep him nice and sharp. I'm just going to pin that in place. Really could do with a magnet, a metal board behind and some magnets because then you can just drop some real, the little small magnets on here and it will hold it right in place. Another way you can do it is just back roll a little bit of masking tape. That's what I'm gonna do, some tiny little back rolls of masking tape. Put it on the back of this, and then just line it up and just pin it in place. But when I work round this, I can always, if any bits are slightly lifting, I can just sort of hold them with my finger in place while I'm spraying. But that's how we're gonna do it, and we'll keep the background nice and clean, because we're just gonna do a drop shadow on group. Now, paints, I've basically just looked at the picture. I've picked the lightest spot here. 
and made that sort of tone up. So I've done a brown, a couple of drops of brown, about three or four drops of brown, and some white and thinned it out and it's gave it that nice sort of creamy brown white. So we're gonna drop that in. We're gonna build that up. And then we're gonna go and we've got some burnt umber. We've got a dark brown, we've got the white again to start doing all the sort of creases and the bits of the timber type look where it's all twisted in. We've got a little bit of blue to the side of him here. There's a little tint of blue. So I'm gonna leave this area sort of quite, quite white on the paper. And then when we need to just tint it, I've got a light blue. I've got a bright green, a light green. So I'm just gonna darken this out when it comes to the green at the top, we've got a little bit of green here, a few little leaves dotted around, we can use that. And then he's got two sort of bits of like oval red on his cheeks here. Now I'm not gonna go on the actual image, they're really sort of sharp. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna do a little soft shade around here on them. When it comes to the eyes, we've got the bright highlights, We've got some browns coming around and we've got some darks and then a sort of a black to finish the outer off. So I'm just going to build them up with the brown. And just do a nice black edge around it just to sink it. The mouth basically dark brown to black in the centre and it's got a little bit of white, just a little bit of highlight showing. Same with the bottoms of these eyes, just a little bit brighter on the bottoms just around the tops of the sort of lids here of the eyes, a little bit of bright. So just sort of work it round. We're gonna work this light tone in first, this mix one. I'm just gonna dust round with this and just build it up and put the light tones in already. And then we just basically, it's a great one for dagger strokes, guys, this is because you're doing a lot of dagger stroke movements in all these bits. You're basically rolling and rounding the edges off. So a great one for practicing your dagger strokes that are very small and big when you're coming up on the head part here. So we'll move in closer, get the brush set up, test it to the side and we will crack on with Groot. Right guys, we're ready to start. I've got the colour in the brush. I'm just gonna to start to dust over like dagger stroke movements. Just doing like a random pattern. Just build this tone up. My pass on this is like moved right over on this stencil. So we're going to have to do some uh, erasing. It's leveled up at the top, but just completely threw out at the bottom. But we'll get around it. It's proper stepped out about four mil, but we level up here. I don't know what went on there. Tone up now and just make it a little bit darker. Same again, you're doing some random. Put some coins in. 
all that. Build it up. Put some shining in on that. Or that. Let's put some in on here. Go back over the mail. Darken it. Right, we're going to grab a shield. Just line these in place. And up here. This is where the Evo comes alive with the thin paints. Just touch that trigger. It just do what you want it to do. That's why I picked it for this project, because it's a quick brush. When I did the test on it the other day, it just works so nice for uh, speed. Building it up, that's all we got to do. I'm going to give the brush a little blast through because I've got a lot of dried paint around the top of the cup. I don't want any of that. Just literally a bit of water. Agitate it with a cotton board. dump the paint out very quick, this brush. Everything about it just speeds you up, I think, when you paint with this. Paint release, the way you can empty it quick, because the trigger goes right back on this, dumps right back, so you can get rid of the paint quick. I've just painted all that, and I've got a teeny bit of tip dry now, so I've just painted all that, And we're good to go. So that's 
so very little tip dry when you're using the after wheel with the water and ISO. That's why I'm enjoying it. You can just crack on your crack on with your painting with no dramas. Right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to start to drop the eyes in. So we'll get the mask placed, and these eyes are probably going to be really off. They are. Have to level them up. That'll do. Got his little eyes. <laughs> big, big eyelids. Let's pin them up. Right. I think that's going to have to do. Right, I'm going to go in with a. I'm just going to hit this with a brown in the middle. A little bit of that, a little bit of um, yeah, let's hit it with this colour. So it's just I'm gonna spot this in. Like that. Just create a texture with it. Like that. Let's give this a little bit of bubble. You know, just backwards and forwards on the thing, just creating a texture. Around there. Now I'm going to drop a little bit of black into that, bit of ISO, probably a little bit too much ISO. And now Little 
peak. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to go with that. Right, we'll do that as a pass for the eyes. Can go around these in a minute and just shield them a bit of this. Oh, that's that bit in. Let's just get these. Oh, no, it's in. Over with white with the airbrush. Soften the edge, but then brighten the centre. Pass of this for now, and then we'll go in with another pass with a different shade. Going up a little bit closer with it and just darkening it off now. Zero four five, I think, is definitely the best setup in this brush. Just the way it releases the paint, it's like really nice. Can't go wrong with an HS.
Just going in with a, a burnt umber. Just giving it a pass. Right, we've got a darker brown mix, and we're gonna just gonna start to work some of these. Shield. And then tidy this up and we'll work it free and get rid of the unwanted pencil lines. As I say, it's a good one for your dagger strokes, trigger movement, because you are on and off the trigger a lot on this. Build it up with this shade a bit. Dark brown to black up. Hello. Just drop him on there. Hmm.
That'll do for the tin to the A little bit of tint of blue coming in it. And uh, little text is in that bit. That'll do. I'm going to go with that, guys. So there you go, guys. We've got it down. Nice little one for a Sunday, little practice piece. Great for dagger strokes. As you've seen when we, when we was working this up, you're just doing loads and loads and loads of dagger strokes and little lines. We could have detailed more and more of the bottom part of the body out, but it's good enough. It's group, baby groups down. We used FW inks. We've used a green, a red, brown. We've used burnt umber, black used a blue a white so they're the colors we've used and sort of mixed a bit of the base tone for a start and drop that in and then just started to work the browns up drop the greens in we used the cut out shields now if you have got be better with a magnetic board because it'll hold it a lot tighter to the actual piece of artwork so you're getting a lot of noise because you get the air blowing underneath and the Evo with the 4.5 does like to run a little bit higher pressure. I was running around 20 PSI to do this. And then we have the inner one like that. So we did the eyes and work the eyes in. Use the Posca paint pen to drop the highlights in and we got it down. So just sort of follow that path and you will achieve that sort of style of artwork, not a problem. We use the projector at the beginning, project the image up, made the two shields by projecting and then chop them out with a scalpel. The Evo works really nice. If you are thinking of an evolution and you was thinking of the new 2024, highly recommend it guys. Really nice, comfortable trigger to work with. No dramas working doing this with the Evo. Hardly any tip dry, just blasting through, blasting through. Quick color changes of this as well because you can just really pull further back on them triggers. It's the new design on the trigger, so it can really dump the paint out quick. Quick colour change, job done. So a brilliant brush by HS. I'll leave a link in the description to that. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Drop your comments, like, shares, it all helps the channel grow, guys, and that's what we're doing, trying to push it out for the beginners so they're getting this learning content, and that's what it's about. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.